Okay, we are in the Toyota Yaris in the Yaris Media Drive. There's a traffic jam in front here. Okay, now we're in the bit of traffic. Yeah, super is on the left. We are on the way to Jandabai uh, and so on. At first, we thought this Toyota Yaris is going to be like that Toyota Vios. Okay. Basically, a uh, Vios without the boot. In traffic, it is a Vios without the boot. I'm looking at the same dashboard, the same infotainment, the same controls and all. It's all uh, as it's all familiar. And it's like like uh, Vios. Okay, so and then uh, as passenger, yeah, all was quiet and all. It's like the Vios. It's very refined for a B segment uh, hatchback or B segment car. It's refined. So no surprises there in terms of that but I've been driving this car now for a good few what 20 over kilometers doing a lot of high speed highway driving we push the car to speeds similar to speed similar to what we did during the Vios uh, drive it does not feel like a Vios in certain ways it feels more solid even on the normal mode even on eco mode Especially on sport mode, everything feels tighter and tauter and better, surprisingly better than the Vios. It's a surprise. It is not a Vios without a boot. It is a Yaris hatchback in terms of how it drives, which is actually surprising since uh, this Vios that we have now, this new Vios is actually uh, based on this car and it's called the Yaris Atif even in Thailand. So. I'm actually quite surprised. This is my first initial impression. It's quite stable in the straight line at high speed. Exit left at Tibadu Caves, then keep left. If you're on speeds, say 40 to 50 kilometers per hour over our speed limit, it is surprisingly stable in a straight line. The car feels very solid. Solid. The steering feels nice and weighted. Right Only if you enter a corner too fast, it actually weighs up a bit too early for my liking understeer is strong in this car it is strong in this car it means that it asks you to back off early i think that is the basic nature of this chassis and maybe the vios chassis but somehow in a straight line it is so much better again a real surprise It's competitor car against Toyota Yaris. Okay, so before I forget, the competitor car tends to be the brakes are super spongy. Well, I think, but the thing is, this car had only 1,800 kilometers on the clock. So, I don't understand why it's super spongy in terms of braking. In terms of steering, the car feels like I'm steering a boat because there's no, it doesn't weigh up, weigh up properly. There's no steering weighting, proper steering weighting. It just feels like it's numb. There's no feel at all. I'm just, it's like your your video game steering wheel lah, I would say so but to be honest it the chassis is nice uh, if you're doing it about slightly over the speed limit it does feel good the CVT is a traditional CVT it just likes to hold uh, the high revs there's no uh, artificial blip of the throttle and all so that's the thing it's Oh, but oh, then the, the braking. Yeah, we trying to brake the car. Okay, it does work, but it's spongy, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, my colleague says it's spongy too. Colleague for the drive. 
So but to be fair this car has been like it's almost at the end of its lifespan this car. Its chassis is good, it's competent at, at high speeds. But the steering is just dumb. And the steering kills the thrill of driving in this car. And that gearbox, the CVT, it just drones all the way. This gearbox is a traditional CVT style gearbox in that it just holds the rev. I'm not too keen about that, whereas the one in the Yaris is it's like it mimics a normal traditional automatic. So yeah, yeah, it is I think a good half generation back in terms of uh, engineering and development compared to the new VO, uh, new Yaris. So yeah, not much complaints but I think at this point if you're comparing these two cars the Toyota is better. For now. So just handle but settle. I always like this. Yeah. The cup holder, yeah, right. Cup holder that so works like right. will always be like cool, right? Yeah. yeah. The cup holder is good in the this Honda. Of course, the car that I've been using is the base Honda City. So it isn't like something like this Yaris. But that being said, it's still how much money you're paying for the car. I think the Jazz in base model isn't worth your money. Maybe if you wanted a Jazz, you have to go for the hybrid, which feels like a totally different car. But my choice right now is this because it feels better, it's more planted, it's, it feels nicer to drive overall, it feels nicer to drive fast in the long run, which is the point actually. We are back at Toyota here in Shah Alam and just completed the drive of the Toyota Yaris seems to have been performing quite well aside from the rear hatch and all and the boot space the different slight difference in boot space in volume and how where things are laid out in the boot it's the same the dashboard is the same the layouts is the same there's a eco mode there's a sport mode switch for you to use and how the steering is looks how everything is laid out is the same as the Toyota Vios so there's no change in that the change is in how it looks inside the plastics are the same quality everything feels the same so aside from that the drive same 100 plus horsepower engine 140 Newton meters of torque CVT gearbox with the same sort of set of gearing but somehow it drives better it rides better it's somewhat a bit more solid it has a bit more grip it handles high speed tracking so much better than the vios which is actually a surprise because you thought that it was just as i said earlier you thought it was just a vios without a boot it's not it is actually it gives you a more sporty drive than the vios very good thing it's still understeers quite early as i said earlier my that point still sticks it is not a super sporty drive it is a compliant drive it gets you from A to B easily that's what you want in a car comfortably it is refined the seats are well supported well padded I think it's one of the best in the class right now aside from that interior wise I'm happy with it handling wise yes don't expect it to, to outperform the best of the warm hatches around it is good the 1.5 liter engine is just good enough the gearbox CVT is surprisingly good in that it doesn't just pull its revs and all it just have that nice uh, like it changes down the gear it mimics the gear change and also it doesn't feel all just full of holding the revs at high rpm and also that is good with the Yaris it's like the Vios on that point but then again it's the handling the handling makes it so different and so much better from 
the Vios. So you get the latest in uh, B segment chassis engineering. So for whatever price that their Toyota is charging, it will be stated for this car that we tested. It is good enough to be one of the better B segment hatchbacks sold on the market today or even one of the better B segment cars sold on the market today. Okay, so do subscribe to Motoring Malaysia for more updates. This is the end of this test drive of the Toyota Yaris. Give us a like. If you don't like, click two times on the dislike button and tell us what's wrong so that we can make it a bit better.